according to problem i am having a balloon of diameter 1 meter that means its initial diameter is 1 meter right and it is containing a pressure of 150 kilopascal that is the pressure of the gas inside balloon initially is 150 kilopascal and i am giving heat from the outside what will happen when heat transfer is occurring the gas will start to expand right as a result the balloon also will expand and they are given that the final pressure of the gas inside the balloon is given by 450 kilopascal and they are given that pressure is directly proportional to d cube that means when we are heating what will happen the gas will expand right as a result the pressure inside the gas will inside the balloon will increase and they are given that that is proportional to diameter cube of the diameter when the pressure increases what will happen to the diameter of the balloon it will increase right and they are given that th this process is following this law and they are asked to us to find what is the expansion work involved in this question or involved involved in this case so take that consider that we are appearing for any descriptive examinations like uh, engineering service or civil service so in that case we will have to follow certain procedure for solving this question first of all we will have to give what are the assumptions we are taken we have when we are doing this problem and we are we know that we are asked us to find we are asked to find what is the expansion work involved in this process and we know that for expansion work process the equation for expansion work is nothing but integral pdv right and we know that for using that process we have to assume that that particular process is a reversible process moreover it's a closed system so we will have to write the both the assumptions like it is a reversible process this is a closed system process so we have to include both then only we can use the equation integral pdv then we will have to write what are the data given and these things we will be writing there then we will have to write what to find that is the third thing okay then we will find uh, uh, find the work involved in this process using the given data okay we know that work transfer is nothing but integral pdv integral pdv right and in order to apply use this equation we should know how p is related to v or dv then only we can integrate this but we are having p directly proportional to d cube and we know that here it is volume change in volume change in volume is uh, directly related to volume and volume is nothing but what is the volume of a sphere pi by 6 d cube and i can write dv as 3 pi by 6 into d square into dd dv is equal to 3 pi by 6 into d square dd and we know pressure in terms of d uh, diameter so i can write pressure is equal to kd cube so right now i am having work transfer is equal to kd cube into 3 pi by 6 d square dd integral from d1 to d2 now we are doing the integration with respect to diameter right so we will have to include d1 and d2 for that for doing this integration we need two data that is we already know d1 so we don't have to find d1 we have to find d2 and what is the value of k then we can do the, this integration first of all we will find what is the value of k for that they are given a clue that is p is directly proportional to dq so i can write p is equal to k d q first of all take the first values that is initially it is having 150 kilopascal pressure we don't know the value of k and d cube initial diameter is 1 so it implies k is equal to 150 so we got the value of k here now we have to find d2 then we can get the problem solved let's use the final case 450 is equal to k we are having 150 d2 cube from this we will be getting the value of d2 as use your calculator and find this value 
it will be coming as 1.442 meter i guess so so apply this thing here you can find the answer now come back here we'll be doing this question from here okay we are having 150 150 here we are having d cube d square and 3 pi by 6 3 pi by 6 is nothing but pi by 2 so it will be pi by 2 right pi by 2 and d cube and d square is there so it will be d raised to 5 and dd do this integration from 1 to 1.442 then you will be getting the answer the answer will be almost 310 kilojoule if you are doing this integration you will be getting the answer as 310 kilojoule kilojoule that is the answer coming maybe some minor deviation will be there but this will be the answer i hope you understood how we are did, did this problem right we were using this p directly proportional d cube as our key so using this key we open entire problem the initial challenge was how we could use this equation since we don't know how p is deviating with v but the, in the question they are giving how p is the, uh, changing with respect to d and we already know what is the relation of v and d so using clubbing these together we got the answer how was the question that was nice right okay and in the next video we will be doing the heat transfer